Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Easter Skin. So, yeah, trailers, teasers, everything that's going to be coming out for E3 is starting to kind of like filter through to us now. And uh, we've got a recent announcement on what's going to be done with the next big Sonic game, the AAA release that's going to be done on the most recent consoles, the big new one called Sonic Forces. Now, I'm not massively excited about it. Um, I've been a fan of the Sonic series since its early days. Obviously, if you've seen a lot of the retro videos that we've done here recently, have all been from the Sonic series, and uh, I thought it would be appropriate to actually throw out this video, all considering we're doing a Sonic Generations game um, really, really soon on the channel, just to show you guys the, some of the more modern stuff that's close to being retro. So, um, yeah, Sonic Forces got a release trailer sent out that's saying about the custom hero ability, the third hero in it's going to be Sonic Original Classic, Sonic from the Modern Era, and a classic hero or a custom hero created by the players. And I'm curious to know, I haven't seen any of this other than the basic knowledge of what's in the trailer, or basic knowledge of what the, the hype's about. So let's see what this is. I, I got none. I got none to explain this. Yeah, obviously, see this is a thing people are looking at going like, who is this third hero? Right. Customize with whatever gloves suit that you want. <laughs> okay, running alongside the normal heroes. It's so weird, it's, it's like watching somebody's OC character come to life. <laughs> go hero, go hero, go. Oh, man. At least we're actually seeing some gameplay of this character in use as well. Well, not that much, really. Jesus. So, level customization really does feel like they're kind of applying themselves towards the, um, the fan market that have been making original characters in the Sonic first for a long time. No, I don't know. Are Sega aware? of a lot of the kind of like sideline information that goes along with these, the fan fiction that goes along with it. Oh man. Holiday 2017 for PS4, Xbox One, Switch and... Wow. Um... Yeah. I'm not surprised by that at all. I'm just going to let this uh, play over video of uh, the custom characters being made in use. I can see... I can see where the excitement for a lot of people is actually coming from in this gameplay. I can see that it's actually uh, obviously based around the fact that the... The fandom's going to go crazy to get to play as their guy. People who are into Sonic in this way. And... I'm happy for them, but... I kind of was excited to actually be playing a Sonic game that actually, um, you know, was a Sonic game. <laughs> the It's the furry friends of Sonic that have never been the most interesting characters. I mean, I don't mind Knuckles. I don't mind Rouge. But I like Blaze because I actually thought Sonic Rush was a really good game. Um, the, the wider Sonic universe is great as a peripheral characters. I'm sure with them being played as in this, it's going to be uh, built around the mechanics of that character perfectly fine, but it just discourages you from playing as Sonic and as Sonic and Sonic from what I can see so far, because why play as a character who can teleport around and do those basic bits without um, uh, with, with the, the homing attacks and stuff, but not be, you know... Um, God, it's, it's really hard to describe. It's like, you're not playing a Sonic game whenever you're playing as the Sonic friends. You're playing as whatever the character decided and came up with. And I'm not, I'm not into that, you know? Can, can, can you get to the point where I'm coming from here? You're playing the Sonic game, but you're not playing as Sonic whenever that's what the focus of the character is actually meant to be. Or the focus of the game meant to be. Like, that's the hero, not your custom customized hero. And... I'm not I'm not impressed so far with what they're doing with the characters because it just feels like you're going to be picking out everything that's just going to be peripherally, visually unique about your character without actually being any gameplay difference because they're all going to still use the same grappling hook mechanic 
to move around. They're still going to traverse the same way. The only thing that's going to affect it is uh, baseline things from what I've read is actually different creature classes are going to have a different unique skill. Rather, they actually have longer invincibility periods or they maintain uh, an extra ring or they can actually pick up rings whenever they're um, st still injured and stuff. I'm not, I don't see this is actually being something that's going to be groundbreaking or amazing to the Sonic franchise. It's just a randomly generated or customly custom selected version of one of the Sonic friends. And that, that takes the, the idea of um, it being an adventure for those characters, an adventure and a challenge for them. So... I'm not on board with Sonic Forces. I, I just, flame me for it or whatever you like, but Jesus, this this feels like a, it's just a step to the side to placate a very particular crowd of people, and that very particular crowd of people want to do things with the characters that are not exactly Sega and canonical, kind of like child friendly. You know that, right? We remember Sonic Dreams. If you haven't heard of Sonic Dreams, don't play it. Please don't. It's just terrifying. But there's a lot of Things that have actually go on in the background of these customized characters that we choose to forget and ignore a lot in the internet. And I think Sega have chosen to ignore it to the point where we're going like, you know what, this is what they've wanted for a long time. Obviously they create their own characters a lot. People are really excited about it and like, okay, okay, just, 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 just don't put a human kiss in the middle of this as well. Just to kind of like make a joke reference to even Sonic 06. It's, it's not worth it. It really won't be worth it. So guys, if you like my opinions, you dislike my opinions, you disagree wholeheartedly with my thoughts on Sonic Forces Custom Hero, then make sure to comment underneath. I will happily engage in conversation about this because I think some of this is a terrible idea and some of you out there are a little bit too crazy about it. So uh, yeah, make sure to get in touch. And uh, if, you, if you hit me or you dislike it or whatever else, feel free to hit the dislike button. But if you want to hear more and you want to watch more stuff here on the channel, hit the subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in any other video. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can always hit the buttons up at the top and the side here. Um, this will probably be under a vloggy kind of opinion piece. So it might go into that folder there. Meanwhile, over here on the side, it's something that's actually related to your personal interest. If it's Sonic Forces and Sonic, it'd probably be one of the uh, retro games we've been playing here recently on the channel for a retro sonic series i hope you enjoy it and i will see all you dudes in the next trailer <laughs> jesus this makes me cringe a little bit too much <laughs>